It was now 9 p.m. Harvey had spent most of the day resting, eating, and reading. The last thing he wanted to do was go back into that terrible museum. But he was the only one who knew about the true threat. And he knew that if he did nothing, humanity was lost. But he also knew that he couldn't tell anybody. They would simply lock him away and call him insane. Re-entering the museum. He strolled its corridors once more. Harvey, Harvey's going to attempt this particular challenge. Let me pick it up so that you can see it. The reason I'm going to try to tackle this one is because at midnight, which will be next on the clock, a monster will appear and I'm trying to keep that from happening if I can solve this uh, particular adventure card. Uh, here in this location is a cultist. I had seen this person studying here often. Now I knew why. So a cultist will be there. For defeating the cultist, or to defeat the cultist, I'm going to need to have either one of these results. Not both, but just one or the other will satisfy this requirement. Now, our, uh, what do I call it, a great old one, may have something here related to cultists. Let's see. Each time the task on a cultist monster marker is completed, or an investigator is reduced to zero sanity or zero stamina, the investigators lose one elder sign if they have any. Okay, so uh, we were just looking at a cultist monster marker. So anytime that would be completed, we would lose an elder sign, but we don't have any of those yet. In fact, in my story, uh, Harvey's not even sure about those quite yet. So now might be a good time to try to take this out so we don't get penalized later. So Harvey is going to, to try to tackle this uh, adventure card. Let's look at it a little more closely. You become that which you fear the most. The sickness and the fear have become so ingrained in me. I can no longer imagine a life without unending dread. Harvey was back in the museum. He still felt somewhat nauseated and sick. He felt like he would surely die in this battle between the forces of good and evil. snapping him out of his deep thought. He saw before him someone who had been studying at the museum nearly every day and now Hart Harvey knew why. Dressed in strange robes and muttering some odd chant Harvey knew this must be one of the cultists. It must have been one of the people that had infiltrated the museum and helped been a part of the effort to collect the necessary relics and artifacts that would be used to bring the ancient evil back into this world. Harvey drew his knife.
Okay, here we go. We're going to try to complete this challenge. And I think I think I'm going to use a spell called Enchant Weapon. And I think I'm going to I think that's good. I think I'll try to use this uh, enchant weapon spell. All right, here are the results. We can take the challenges in any order. I think the first thing I will do is save one of these terror results with my spell. And I will use one of these terror results, these peril results, I'm sorry, to defeat the cultist. Now we need to roll and continue to collect two more terror. No terror this time. So I think I'm going to spend one of my one, two, three, four, five, six. One of my six clue tokens to roll this again. Harvey's now struggling to overcome the dread. He just feels doomed. The more he learns, the more depressing it is. All right, we've got another terror result, but it's still not enough. This is a failure, but I'm going to focus this dice, this die. I'm going to put that on Harvey. And I need to take one die away. That leaves me with two. So we're almost there. If Harvey can't overcome his fear, uh, he's going to lose sanity. No, I'm going to spend another clue token. We'll try again. I still didn't do it. I'm going to spend another clue token. I really want to solve this one so another monster doesn't appear. No, I'm going to spend another clue token. Try again. We got it, we got it, we got it right there. So we're going to take this one off of our spell, our enchant weapon, and we're going to take this one off the focus die, the focus that gives us three, and I spent four clue tokens there, so you, I think you can see how handy those were in succeeding here. Perhaps it was the rush of battle as Harvey plunged his knife into the chest of the cultist. But it renewed him with a sense of purpose and strength. He forgot about his own fears and he knew that he must stand up against these dark forces. Okay, I've removed the dice. Now it's time to see what the rewards are. The cultist is worth a single trophy. And a monster is going to appear anyway. But we regain one of those clue tokens, which is nice. That takes Harvey back to three of those. We gain a unique item. This is uh, a book on nameless cults. Well, that'll help me with my story, I guess. And an elder sign. All right, we can work that into the story, too. An elder sign. Uh, 
So we need to place a monster here somewhere. Let's uh, put this card. This is worth two trophies. We'll put this card into our pile and replace that with another location. And then our used spell. We're going to put that at the bottom of the spell stack face down. Okay. Harvey cleaned his knife off on the robes of the dead cultist. The knife still slightly vibrated from some ancient spell that Harvey had used to enhance its murderous power. He searched over the body of the dead cultist and found several things of use. One was a book. It was a book about the snake cult. The cult had no specific name, but this particular book documented the years the generations of worshippers that followed a particular horrible god and this god's name was Yig also found in the book was a fantastic lead. Harvey came across a particular sign, a weakness, something that could help block Yig's power from entering this world. And it was called the Elder Sign. Okay, we're going to take this elder sign. This is one of the uh, symbols that can help secure the doorway between our world and the next and, and lock Yig away. We're going to place that one over here uh, on Yig and we need to collect 10 of those to successfully uh, defeat and, and win, uh, defeat him and win this game. As Harvey began to piece everything together, time passed. He jumped when the clock once again struck midnight. All right, it is now midnight. We look on our board for any midnight effects. Terror, terror, no midnight effects but we've got one here. Remember that when the clock next strikes midnight a monster appears. And we have... Mm, this looks bad. Shogoth. It's oozing mass enveloped. Some exhibits and crushed others in its tentacles. Now that doesn't look good. I guess I'll try to put it down here. Looks like anywhere I try to put it, it's going to be difficult. But I'll try to put it down there and see if we can tackle it there. Alright, when, when we begin the game next turn, uh, it will be time to draw a new Mythos card. And resolve its immediate effect and take a look at its, its lingering effect. And then we'll continue the story.